All right, hi, it's Clark with Doghouse Systems, and I'm going to show you how to correct one of the most common problems we see our customers experience when they receive their new computers. Uh, what happens is in shipping, we have really good shipping containers. I mean, if you've ever bought one of our systems, you know they come in an ironclad tank-like case. That said, sometimes Mr. FedEx guy is having a bad day and tosses around a little too hard. And what happens is, we are Doghouse Systems. Those are the dogs. <laughs> yes. We're literally the Doghouse Systems. Uh, the graphics cards, you guys are crazy, the graphics cards in the computers are one of the heaviest individual components. And due to that weight, they'll become unseated in shipping and give you, sometimes they just won't be working at all, or you'll get errors because of the cards. So I'm going to show you how to do is how to reseat the graphics card if that happened when you receive your new computer. So go ahead and come on in here. All right, so here's my case. I've opened it up. You might have thumb screws or just quick releases. Depends on what case you have from us. In the end, getting into the case is pretty straightforward. What you want to do is disconnect the power from the uh, graphics card, which they have the little clips. And you can just pull these out. Bam, it's disconnected. I've already pre-loosened the thumb screws. You may need a uh, screwdriver to get them going, but or else if you have manly vice-like hands, you can do it without a screwdriver. But once you get that out, the last thing is, a lot of PCI boards will have retention clips that hold the back end of the car. I don't know if you can see this white clip that I'm pointing at down here. All right, you're going to have to get something to knock that down. This is probably the most fragile portion of this. If you put too much pressure, I'm trying to hit it really hard, and it slips off, you end up stabbing your motherboard. So you want to be really, really careful to give it enough pressure, and I don't know if you can really see what I'm doing here, to rock it back without really knocking the board hard. I knock that clear to the back of the card, and then without applying torque one way or the other, if I lift this card straight up, I'm going to get the card by both the back end and also my other hand on where the mo uh, monitors would plug in, and lift the card straight out. All right now the card is fully free. You can see it's out of here, and I'm going to put it back in. I'm going to make sure it's nicely lined up in the uh, PCI Express slot, and click it all the way down. Now you can, well, you can put fairly firm pressure on that, and the way I kind of know that it's in is I, I saw that clip pop up when the car clicked all the way in. Once you reseat the card, you would plug back in the power, redo the thumb screws, close up your case, and then test the system again. Hopefully if your card, you can come back on me now, hopefully if the card were to become dislodged during shipping, just removing it and reinstalling it would solve your problem.